Hello, and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. And today, what we're going to be doing is fitting this uh, Heel Tech Quick Shifter kit to the Aprilia Falco. So, what I have is the IQ uh, IQSE 1 and the QSH F2A uh, loom kit thing. <laughs> so, what we're going to do first is we're going to lift the tank, take off the seat, lift the tank, prop up the tank. I don't really want to take it off fully. And then, we're going to have to take off the air box and throttle bodies. And hopefully that's it. We'll, we'll kind of play it by ear and see where we go. Also, Boo is here in the background, so you might see her joining the video. So what you just saw me do there was remove the two 8 mil bolts here holding the tank in after removing the seat, which is two 10 mil bolts. And now we have seven mil bolts all around the airbox. Uh, and we have to take off these ones first before we take off everything underneath. And it's not a bad idea to do this with this bike every now and again anyway, because it does tend to blow oil up into the airbox. So it's kind of good to get in there and check. And so even after the last time I cleaned this out, I do have a little bit of oil back up in there. So I clean that while I'm here too. Oil and flies. <laughs> That's why you need an air filter, folks. So next we want to take out these four mil allens here. Here are the six of them. And then this whole thing will lift off. So we're going to do that right now. And all of these bolts on the airbox are kind of captive. You don't need to take them all the way out. You just need to loosen them enough to get everything off. Need to pause. Boom. What's going on? Hello, puppy. Hello. You haven't been on the channel in a while, have you? Good girl. Yeah. Go on. Now, once you have them released, there's also this little guy here that you have to pull down. It's a lot like a pinched one, but it doesn't like actually coming off very easy. There we go. Now we should lift away. So the other thing is you kind of have to watch this coming out. If you hook it up that way, it does come out a bit easier, but it's, it's, it doesn't ever look nice. There you go. And now we have access to hopefully everything that we need. So there's my coils, um, but I'm not sure if they're looking for the coils or the injectors. We'll find that out pretty quickly. Because obviously there's two different types. One is coils, one is injectors. Um, I know I have my two coils here, but it doesn't look like the plugs for the coils. So I have a feeling it's these guys here, which would be my injectors. So injectors, um, these, these plugs here are little kind of piggyback plugs. So that's how they go in there. You just kind of want to make sure that they all um, actually click home because these, these ones didn't click the first time so you kind of have to give them an extra push. But that's all it is, is the injector on this side and the injector on this side. So we're cutting fuel rather than spark on this bike. Um, now we're, I'll, I'll tidy all this up afterwards. They do give you a load of cable ties. So I'll tidy it up, but I think where I'm going to run this main plug is back along here. If I can, don't know is there any space there really, there actually probably isn't, but uh, that's kind of where I want to put it, so I'll figure that out. I might have to go to the other side. 
Uh, yeah, there's more space over this side, so we'll, we'll figure that out. Okay, next what we want to do is actually mount the quick shift sensor, which is in this little bag right here. It, it comes with a couple of different mounting options. Um, you can mount with this bolt, uh, or you can mount obviously onto the end of your linkage. But apparently this way uh, means you can go up and down. Now, will I ever use the down? Probably not, but why not give it a go anyway? So. You know, have the option. And the thing I like about this is, you know, they give you literally everything that you need. And what you want to do is put washer on and put on your, your sensor. So it goes washer, sensor, washer again. And now we should be able to thread this through. Okay, so we won't tighten that anymore. They're fairly strong about saying it should be seven Newton meters. Um, so we'll, we'll tighten that seven Newton meters in a minute. Next what I'm doing is just routing the cable. So I'm not sure will this be my final routing, but for now I'm gonna go back up through here in along the frame rails and into where I'm mounting the actual unit up here, which I'll show you in a sec under the seat. Oh, okay, so um, I'm gonna talk this to seven newton meters in a minute. I have that run up there in behind the frame in along here, which I, where I'll cable tight in a minute, uh, in and under here. Now, I do currently have this on this frame rail. I, I know that is grounded, but like, I don't know, maybe I should just put on the negative of the battery. I might do that um, just to be safe. Then the actual unit itself, the quick shifter unit, I'm gonna put down here where I've cleaned because it's out of the way and I can still see the LED lights and all that, so that's where I'm gonna put that. And then this cable from the injectors will go here and I can tuck that in under there, so it's just kind of gonna be out of the way again. Um, yes, it's adding stuff that's in the way of the battery and all that, but what can you do? Then I just need to tidy up all these cables. Um, I'll cable tie that one there just to keep it again out of the way. And as tidy as I can. And the same, the same over here. That that'll be absolutely fine. Then where where it where it is basically, and that's it. Kind of done. Um, then we can test it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy all this up. I'm going to stick this in place, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I will I will let you know. Okay, so that's kind of cable tied there. I'm not overly happy with this yet. I need to figure that one out fully. Um, I might have to move it a little bit, but it's okay for now. It's also cable tied here. That routes back in to here that's the quick shifter cable itself there's the plug for the main unit again not ideal all over the battery I might move this eventually we'll see and then I have the earth or ground going directly to the negative of the battery from that we have you actually have access to all your um, plugs from just lifting the tank but to be honest just for access and you know seeing what you're doing especially on this one I would recommend taking off the airbox it's not too bad Anyway, I'm going to put the tank back, reinstall that, and we're going to do a test. Okay, so I'm not sure how well you'll hear me. I'm just pairing to it here now. And you can see the green light down there, or maybe you can't. The little green LED. Uh, oh, the pin. <laughs> so we are connecting up. Here we are. Connecting to that now. Engine RPM looks good, as you can see there. First RPM, last RPM, so we're going to change that. So you want to go to the second page and RPM setup. I know we have to stay pretty close here. So last RPM. Ten and a half. First three, that's fine. That's the little test. So it is working. That's good. You can hear it. Uh, 
Okay, so that previous step I had to just I had to tighten the sensor a little bit and now we have to set our number of cylinders, so two cylinders. Next step. Finish. So now let's try it. Okay, so you probably just saw that. Um, it worked really, really well. It wasn't clutching, that was completely clutchless. Second gear up to like fifth. Um, <laughs> I am quite happy with that. Pretty easy installation, pretty neat. Um, kind of more cables around the place now than, than previous. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put the seat back on and stuff and then we'll close out this video and I'll let you know what I think of it overall. So, now that we are done, like, I'm looking forward to bringing this bike for a spin later now, to be honest. Uh, that was the Heeltech Quick Shifter Easy I, is it IQSE-1, uh, if you're looking for it, so right there. Uh, come on. No? Okay. It only wants to focus on my face, but anyway, IQSE-1 and the um, Loom Kit QSH-F2A. So. I don't know what you thought of that, I thought it was quite an easy install. Uh, I would recommend lifting the tank, propping it up, obviously after taking off your seat. Uh, you don't need to remove the rear seat on the Falco, the cables don't reach. Uh, I would have liked to put it back there, but look, where it is is fine, and it's grand. I, maybe one day I'll try to clean it up a bit better, but I just don't think there's a way for those cables to reach unless they go left. But the left hand side rail, uh, where there are bits, looked a bit more cramped, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, other than that, very easy to fit, very, very easy to fit. It's literally, literally plug and play, and I think that is a huge difference why I picked this over, for instance, the uh, Vector QS that I installed on my Suzuki, because this is definitely easier, just a little bit more straightforward, a little bit cleaner. Um, they work about the same, um, but again, with this one, you have that support of the actual app to make all your changes. There's a setup wizard on the app, uh, like, I don't know how well it would have come across, I had to shout, because this bike is quite loud and it idles. Um, just moving a lot of air. And you know, then you saw me, you saw me test it on the paddock stand. Uh, it seemed to work very, very smoothly, but obviously the next video where this is out on the road, um, you'll get to see does it work in reality, I suppose. But yeah, let me know, would you consider something from Heeltech now that you've seen this? Uh, I have this, was it in no way sponsored? I spent every last penny uh, to buy this kit myself and get it shipped, which m made me more broke than I already was. Was it a good idea? Probably not. Do I regret it? Definitely not. Um, now I have a quick shifter on my bike and it's gonna be awesome. Um, Heeltech do say that if you mount the sensor where I mounted it, um, it apparently will let you do downshifts as well, but they only recommend between 6th, 5th and 4th, so I'm not really sure what's the point. I'm just going to use my clutch, as I always would anyway, um, and that's with partial throttle. But uh, look, I'll do some tests and, and you'll know in videos anyway, um, see how we get on. Uh, but the Heeltech stickers have earned a place on the Aprilia, um, because I do think that it's a, it's a really nice piece of kit. I love when companies make stuff like this just really neat and tidy and easy for anyone to fit. Anyone can fit this. Anyone, anyone can fit this. It is so straightforward. And if you would like to sponsor me Heeltech, I don't have a quick shift on my CBF, so... Yeah, you know, you can give me one. <laughs> I do also have a Thunderbox to fit to the CBF, which apparently um, just means that you can wire up lots of auxiliary pieces and it will automatically detect when the bike is on or off without cutting into an ignition wire. So that's kind of why I wanted to test that because a lot of people ask me, about cutting into ignition wires. Um, it's something that's fine, I've done it before, I've done it for the, the Suzuki, but ideally you don't want to. So it'd be very easy to um, to do if that Thunderbox works well. So let's wait and see how that goes. I'm interested to try it. And yeah, let me know, would you buy one of these? Let me know, are you excited to see it on the road? Uh, let me know what you think of the installation. And uh, yeah, as always, a very special thank you to all of my patrons. Uh, they, they did help support purchase this piece um, so if you'd like to support the channel do please head over to the patron you can give whatever you want there are levels there but you don't need to support any of the levels you can give me a euro a month if you like 
And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like and let me know what you thought of this install and the kit and all that in the comments. Um, I'm actually really impressed, really, really impressed and uh, looking forward to using it on the road. So yeah, talk to you soon about it, I suppose. Adios. Outro crew. I think quick shifters, have, quick shifters have broken me. I want them on every bike I have now. Um, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, it's a good thing in a way, but it's a bad thing financially. Yeah. This bike is pretty much done now. Um, all I need to still do is maybe change the exhaust if I feel like I want to. But I don't know do I want to. That's a really tough decision because the bike is now in a really good place and I could just enjoy it and not spend more money on it. So, yeah, I don't know. What's, what's, what do you do? Do you just like just keep your bikes as cheap as possible and enjoy them or do you spend far too much money on them like me? Let me know. Anyway, 